And a very good evening, everybody. Williston Keybirds in the capital city tonight try to begin a big week with a couple of wins over the Govs. Let's see what happened in game one. Top of the first we go. Birds base is loaded, but Jace Gross Close is going to get the strikeout to get out of it. Govs load the bags in the bottom of the frame, but Williston is going to come up with a twin killing there. They've got a very good infield. Boom, they get out of it. Double play. Top of the second. Caden Fenders is going to get the run home. And the Williston Keyberts jump out to a one zip lead. Looks like it was a beautiful evening in Bismarck. Then the Governors are going to throw the ball away, and Maxine is going to score two zip birds. But the birds would fall five to four. You won't see it in the video, but Tyler Temez banged another long home run, a two run shot in the seventh. That tied it up at four to four. But the Govs, Tommy Kralik, knocked in the game winners with a sacrifice fly. There also was a balk involved as well. So who knows? Uh, you know, they might have got some home cooking there. But anyway, they come up with a 5-4 to four win. And in game two, Brits could get nothing going. Uh, Tanner, Tanner grows close, came up with a very good game. Uh, I believe he pitched six innings. Uh, Williston could come up with only one hit, and that came from Caden Fenders. So not a lot of action in that second contest. They fall 5-4 to four in a tough one and then lose the nightcap in a blowout 8-zip. Tomorrow they will be at Mandan looking to take a couple from that club. Now Max Heen, as we just said, is a member of the uh, Williston Keybirds. He drives an hour up and back every day from Alexander to play baseball for the Birds. And this standout outfielder, well, he loves it. Uh, playing with the birds is just really fun. Summer baseball is one of the funnest sports, I think. And, yeah, it's just really fun. And the miles don't matter. You're doing something you love. Yeah, yeah, I really love this sport, and I'll do. I'll go, I'll drive pretty far just to play. And there were relationships that you make all summer long, traveling, the ups and downs, and that's what makes it special, right? Yes, yeah, I make a lot of relationships playing baseball. And, yeah, the people I'm playing with, they're just fun. They're good guys. It's a nice break from the basketballs and the footballs and things like that. Yes, it is. Uh, basketball and football, yeah, it gets tiring. And just playing baseball, being out in the sun all day, it's just, I like it. It's fun. What do you think you have to get better at as a baseball player? Um, probably hitting the ball more consistently, uh, driving the ball, and yeah. Play basketball and you play football for Alexander. Uh, how do you like doing all that? You had an opportunity to go up against some great players and you made a lot of friends, right? Yeah, um, playing basketball and b football in a lower class level is definitely fun. Uh, you do see a lot of good kids still, and yeah, it's just really fun. Ah, a class B kid helping the Keybirds, and yes, Rob is his cousin. Very happy to pass along this news. Two former Keybirds going to play ball for the Bismarck Lark second half of the season. Garrett Hill, who's been helping coach the Keybirds, he's about to become a senior at NDSU in Fargo. It all stayed at three times with the Coyotes, one of the best to come out of here. And Jackson Meyer, who enjoyed lots of success with the Birds and the Tetons, and he pitched at Northwestern more. Northwest Missouri State uh, this year, and uh, the Northwoods League has a roster filled with some very good, talented players, so hopefully it helps those two young men. Very good players. We're going to be well represented. Let's take a timeout. 